Oh my god, okay, guys, we found him. He has a moment free. Look at this, I can't believe it. Were you texting me? Nobody, I'm waiting for We have, we have, we have to make this a quick 30 second video because this is the man of the show. Very, very, very busy because they've invented something really cool. I'm gonna say it's one of the most innovative things today at Rifa Palooza. It is, I wanted to say skimmer, but I don't know if that's the correct word anymore. Uh, well, you may have a whole new class of filtration that you've designed here. I'm gonna put my coffee down because this is a really important one. Okay, talk to me. What are we looking at? No, but as you said, it's a filtration system. It's a, of course, it's based on the skimmer, but it has a different new way to filter water. You have chemical filtration. Uh, you have a like a, you have a, a mechanical filtration and yeah. biological filtration. So what are these? This is. This is uh, something that absorbs CO2 from water and the effect of that is you it's rise the pH in your tank. And the pH in your tank is crucial. Maybe we forget about this because we are focused on, let's say, chemical parameters, on the biology, maybe phosphate nitrates, on the light. But without bright pH, our color will not have access to phosphate. They will not grow, they will not so thrive. What, what so you've done, what it looks like, is almost replace the need for an external CO2 reactor. A lot yes. of times people will take like a single cartridge, fill it with some sort of media, yes. hopefully aquaforest media. We're looking yes. at the scrubbing media. And I can tell you we use the same media that hospital use, the same media because I'm a diver, I, I use the same media for, for rebreathers. So when I breathe they need to eliminate CO2. So, so it's super clear, super clean, there's no any impurities. So it's not just a skimmer, it's a skimmer but also a device to raise the pH in your tank yes. at the same time. Yes, and it also you have a cup here with uh, with carbon, which will filtrate the air pollution from air hmm. to prevent them entering the system. I think a lot of people don't think of that. How no, much this is also very important contaminants you can let into your tank simply from the air? Yeah, especially in the high polluted area like the big city. If you have smog, yes. it's basically creating a way for that to get directly into your your system. Yes. into your system. And, and for example, in my house, in our company, in the, our coral farm, we have we, we have a filters. That coming that filtrate air because before it goes into the facility. Yes, yes. So, so without that, we, we probably will have some impurities in the tanks, some heavy metals that enter. In it happened once, and like uh, ten years ago, and we didn't know where it's come from. From outside. It is, and it was from outside, especially in our case. It's in winter, in winter when people burn things in their houses. There's a lot of pollution in the air. I had the pleasure of visiting them actually in Poland. I know we started the video very, very abrupt, but we're talking with Aquaforce here. I don't really think they need an introduction, but just in case I didn't mention it, they're making some incredible, incredible stuff out of Poland. Are these detachable? If for some reason I say I don't want to use them, I see some screws here, you can take them off? Yes, you can take it off, but, but, but why would you, you? You need to connect it here. You need to, you can, for example, you can just open, you can install and you can open the system as well, but you can also put here as uh, ozone. That is oh, ozone, interesting. Uh, ready. So you can swap this out. So if yes. you want to pull in ozone yes. as well. Oh, exactly. that's this smart. One. So you connect this one here. You guys have and then you have everything. A free, you have a free entrance. So besides that, we have something oh, that it's also. Hey, Carol, I love you, but your voice coming through the speakers is awful for the videos. Okay, sorry, <laughs> we're back at it. So this also has the effect of giving you two places for air to be pulled in because you have. Usually your one silencer, yes. but I can see now you have these two purple lines coming in. We discovered that you have an inventory when you have two entrants. They produce uh, the, the skimmer uh, mixing when they mixing air with water. They produce 35% more air. So we have patent on it as well because this uh, equipment have five patents. You know, all integrated systems are patented, and and this, uh, for example, in bigger size, we will have three or four even entrants mm -hmm. because this you're this, forcing more air yes, into it. Yes, exactly. So as you see below, you have a uh, you have a media with bacteria on it. So so it's additional uh, biological filtration. Is here. this life all, biofilm? Yes, exactly. So bacteria are settled in in this in this media already. But all are rated air passing through this so media. You're filtered, your pH adjusted air is now coming down and it's getting filled. You have a life biofill I can just yes, quickly yes. show so they know what we're talking about. It's a pretty cool product. I think it's very underrated. We have it on the shelf, but a yes. lot of people don't know about it. Yes, that's true. And I'm also quite surprised that nobody, you know, uh, that not nobody because a lot of ca customers have it. But this media, you see, it's wet already in the packaging. It already has that beneficial yeah, bacteria I, I think on you it. See, you saw how we produce it or I, not really? I used it to cycle a tank actually once. Yeah, I saw it when yeah. we were there. Yeah. yeah, so we have a like a big tanks with, with this media and we introduce the like a concentrate bacteria in the system, they are 
uh, they are for in the system for like four or five minutes, months in the higher temperature that you regular, like 35 degrees, 40 degrees. It's like turbocharged bacteria yes. rocks. And, and we take it out from the systems and the bacteria will survive for two years, at least three years and in the system. That's what you have in yes. there. Okay. And, and if you don't have, of course, this kind of schema, you can use it in your reactor, even in the place uh, with a high flow in, the, in your tank. So you just pack it, you know, you put it in the system and they work immediately. I think it's unique. Nobody did that. Uh, no. Do that. They, they sell the media, but it's empty. Yeah. You need to wait until they will be colonized. And yeah, kind of like a block and then you yeah. take some sort of uh, denitrifying bacteria, add it to the block, and wait for the block to become alive. And this is already it's aged. already done. Yes, exactly. So, besides that, the pump is very efficient. It's low energy uh, consuming, and, and it's very uh, at the same time it's uh, it's very powerful. I think a lot of people in the world, at least here in America, in North America, we forget how expensive electricity is in other parts. You know, that's something I don't really consider when I plug in a pump. But when you're playing 30, 40 cents a kilowatt. You know, it makes a huge, huge difference. A lot of places in Europe will consume around 50, 20 watts, depending on the power, uh, and and this, it's controllable. Yes, controllable, controllable by Apex, by other like computers, because they have a, a one to ten volts uh, entrance oh, here. Oh, so you can plug into like a VDM. Yes, and besides that, of course, you have a sensor to prevent uh, prevent overflow the, the the scheme. I think we we should have started with that because. That is one of the most useful things. If you've been in the hobby for long enough, it's only a matter of time before your skimmer goes crazy one day. It's kind of like my ex-wife. It just goes nuts. And then the next thing you know, there's shit everywhere. Much like my ex-wife, you know. But these, what they've done is controlled it with a float switch built into the top. But there's a, another one you can plug in, uh, optional. So you can have another sensor that you can put in the sump. Oh. When you make a water change your level in your sump will to go To turn up. this off. It's Directly oh, so it's sort of like a feed mode. It can, yes. yeah. So same thing. If your if your sump level is rising, naturally your skimmer is going to start. The, the the level in your skimmer is also going to rise. So a float switch can turn that off. So, so that's pretty smart. I guess for me, I don't really think about that because I have an apex. Yes. But if you're not fully invested into a two three thousand dollar controller, you have the opportunity to hook up a float switch. Just an apex. Probably you can. You'll be able to to connect. Uh, you will be able to connect it to your. Uh, Let's say to your apex. This is really, really, really clever to yeah. shut off here. I really there's, like that. There's no, no, there's nothing here to skim, so it works just like in empty water. Like there's nothing to skim, but you can see even with nothing in it, how many bubbles. It's also <coughs> the the way that it's uh, the the air and the the air with water is ejected in the reaction chamber uh, that create a fluctuation of water. It's not just going up; it just turns oh, it's around. It's like recirculating yes. over and over. And then how do you adjust it from here? Yes, from here. And uh, this is also very cool. You see the exact oh, yeah, level that's neat. of water. It's not Hold on, let me zoom in because it's like a really, really cool little detail there. Yeah. So when you adjust that on the top, what's happening in this cylinder? It's also moving? Yeah, so normally All you right. see only about... Okay, so I just want to... This is really, really satisfying. It's really fine. Like, okay, I just want to show you. I'm going to turn it a lot. So I don't know what kind of like gear you're using in there but it's really, really fine tuning. So on most skimmers, you get kind of like a big sort of mechanism to turn and it's not, you can't really dial it in. Where we want the bubbles usually to break is right here, right close to the top so that as they're bursting, all the gunk is collecting. And you can do that really easily. It's almost like, imagine a Spears gate valve, that concept, but applied to a skimmer. And you were saying this is a pre-production version, but eventually you're gonna have gradients on this rod here. Yes, like a, like a scale here. Yeah. And you will have a clear instruction where, because this is, shows you extra, actual water level, because usually we don't know where is the water because there's a lot of bubbles in it. Right. And now we see actual level of water. And if I adjust this, it starts to go up and it's, it's quite responsive. So eventually this is all gonna be with a gradient so you can instruct people how to set it properly. Yeah, exactly. yep. If you have a high populated uh, tank, you need to oh, adjust 80% and, and, and the level at, at six. I gotta ask you, how long does it take you, because it looks like you guys have thought of everything. You know, Even if you just did, let's say, just this, that would be really a cool new skimmer. But then there's this, and then there's the pump, and then there's the double venturi. How long does it take you guys to develop a product like this from you know first conception to where you're ready to show it off to the world? It took us around two years. Two years. Yeah, and we developed that not only in our company, we developed that with the Institute of Animals in Poland. They have a division that are uh, responsible for uh, coral uh, reproduction. Mm -hmm. and we have uh, 
scientists that work with us on this, on this project. So, so it's so not just you and a sketch pad yeah, and a bunch of... A, even if you have a logo of them, it's kind of funny because there's a cow, but, but, but they, it's a big institute. They have a reproduction of any animal, fishery, animals, and, and they have a corals as well. The National Research Institute of Animal Production. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and, and, and we, we shared all the information, data, we have tons of scientific uh, data with them, and so we will share that in the final... final De uh, developed through research? Yes. Nice. And so when is it going to be available? When can we expect to give you our money? Uh, we will start to sell it probably around uh, two months, I suppose. From we are, we are, we are produ produ in the productions now. Uh, all, el all elements are made in our company. We have seen CMAS And lasers. this is made in Poland? Yes, in our company. You saw it. You yeah, saw it I, I got to see it. Banks and where we do the, the, all the uh, all our it's reactors. So, so, so it, we do that in our company. Uh, the pump is made in European Union as well. It's so, two, developed. two year warranty on the pump? Maybe even more. Okay. I'm quite confident on the quality, so we'll do probably more. Nice. And then. Uh, pump will be. I'm, I will not. Don't keep me for a word, but, but I will say more than four years. And then any, um, is it going to come in different sizes? Or? Yes, this is the smallest size that we plan for now, but we will have a bigger size. This is the 150 millimeters uh, diameter of this uh, chamber of reaction. We'll have 200 and 250. And so what would, if you can, maybe it's too soon, but you know what something like this would retail for roughly? I would like to have it as uh, in dollars, in euros, dollars, around 500, 600 dollars more or less. So it would be yeah. as competitor has prices. About, yeah. Before tariffs, of course. Tariffs, what are those? No, we don't have tariffs. That's we a, are European Union. So. That's a whole other video. Yeah, so, but anyway, uh, so we are European Union. We have tariffs, but 10% for now. Let's hope it will not uh, rise anymore. And then how many gallons or liters would something like this be able to handle? What's the rating on it? Yeah, more or less for, let's say, 30, 40. It, because this pump is very sensitive and they can work even at 30% of their power and, and it produces enough air to filtrate. So you can use it in the small system as well. So for, let's say, 30 to 150 even, 160. I think this it, this small model, smaller model. Can the pump be used externally as well? Or? Uh, I think, I think that's, that's one thing we forgot to mention, yes. yes. So, this is also another pattern that we have. One more. Guys, yes. if it wasn't enough, if you're still watching the video and intrigued with this all new, I, mean, I don't even know if I can call it a skimmer, there's one more cool, cool feature we forgot to mention. Yeah, so you can decide if pump will be inside. There will be some small optional mounting uh, that you can, you can have it, and you can put it in the same body. Uh, the same pump but outside externally you know? externally yes yeah. and, and this probably you know because most people would be better to have it inside because we we are lacking of uh, of uh, space in our sums but yeah. if somebody is lucky enough to have, to have a room. bigger space so it's easier to, to maintain this kind of the pump. pump you get a little bit more skimming area yes. yeah it is a little bit easier on the outside you don't have to disassemble everything yes. Yes. that's really cool man and we should have started with the name it is called the all in skim we might we might change this we might call it all in something else because like i said this is a new level new class of filtration where you're getting the ph stabilization you're getting filtered air you're getting the bio media you're getting increased air it's like a turbocharger for your car you're pushing more air into it so it's working better the adjustments you guys you've done a really really awesome job here Dzień dobro, Dziękuję from Poland I hope you guys enjoyed it you're gonna see it in any of your retailers I'm sure you're gonna see it on the shelf soon and you're not gonna miss it because it really does not look like any other skimmer out there and with the patents you're not gonna see another one like this anytime soon I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you had fun thank you again thank you this is why we do the shows this is why we come for this kind of stuff we'll see you guys on the next episode of Fragbox TV <laughs>